So what you're looking at here, this one's actually uh, probably going to be more important than anything, is this is uh, the XYZ neutral safety switch tool. So this is the original tool, right uh, here. and this is our, our tool that we've developed. Similar setup, you need the lanyard on here to hold the alignment pin tool. Uh, this is the part that actually goes all over the XYZ switch and over the selector shaft. So I went into my, um, my Rover book from school um, from back in the day. And if you look up here, you'll see this is what I found as far as, uh, which kind of blows my mind. I'm not sure how people have been developed, you know, have been setting the timing on these neutral safety switches that you guys, you know, we get them through you guys. They're not a cheap switch. But you actually you have to set the timing on them, and um, th that's why they're they're super important to have that tool, and uh, and and in order to get the correct uh, location of that neutral safety switch and driver perspective of underneath the vehicle on the driver's Go side. under now and show you how this works. So if you look up here, you're gonna see this already installed XYZ switch. This is your timing tool. This would go over the selector shaft, and then this will go through the fork, and it will line up with a hole inside the XYZ switch. We're not going to take this off because there is a risk of these nuts not coming loose from the selector shaft. So if that does happen, if you happen to put a wrench on this and it's not moving, pause. And what we've had to do in extreme cases, if you sauce it and it doesn't work, if you spray it with um, different types of penetrant oils, uh, coil works really well. The, you can snap the shaft and then you're into a, a whole other situation. We've been able to die grind these nuts down to the point where we can break them off and not have to worry about damaging the selector shaft. So that's an option that we found works in really cases that you run the risk of the snapping. So anyway, that's where it would go. You get your switch installed, you get two elongated holes, we'll show you on the bench. And then this guy goes over that selector shaft with the nut off, and then this pin lines up into a hole up there. And then that's how you would time your switch, and according to the direction specified. And then we're gonna pause and go over to the bench and show you how it works on the so bench. So this is a switch on the bench area, so obviously no nut on the selector shaft. This guy would go over like this, sorry, like this, and this guy goes through like this. And you work that in there. And that's how you would line up and uh, your elongated holes will then allow you to move this accordingly in order to get the proper setting of your neutral safety switch and time it correctly so that you don't have fault codes occurring in the system. So anyway, I hope that helps clarify and uh, help you uh, install your new XYZ switch. Thank you for watching.